Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm sitting down to share some of my favorite things lately with you guys. This will be a sort of favorites video. I did this back in winter, like the winter type season, and a lot of you said you would like to see this seasonally on my channel. So I figured I would sit down and share some springtime favorites with you guys. I want to thank Evie for sponsoring today's video. I just got a new set that I am absolutely in love with that I'm going to show you guys, as well as breaking things down in categories. It just helps my brain and it also helps me not just feel completely overwhelmed to share like 200 different, not really 200, but a lot of different products, a lot of different clothing items. Um, so I've broken it down. So I've got some things, some products for you um, that are that I found recently that have become favorites of mine. A few clothing items, not too many. Um, I have a few movies and podcast recommendations that I've recently been enjoying, as well as, of course, books, because what homeschooling mom would I be without some favorite books? So we're going to jump in and I'm going to share my springtime favorites, really kind of like what I've been loving lately type um, video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I will do my best to link everything in this video down below for you guys. If I forget because I am prone to forgetting. Please just leave me a comment and I will do my best to find the link for you. So let's jump in to my favorite things lately. So you guys know I have been sharing Ebby with you guys for probably over a year now and I just got this really beautiful color. It's like the perfect uh, tan nude color. This is called Sun Kissed. And so I got their uh, new seamless bralette as well as the seamless um, uh, the seamless panty. This is the full coverage. They do have high waisted um, uh, full coverage panties as well, which are really nice for wearing like skirts and dresses if you just want to really smooth everything out. But anyway, that's just a side note. So I got this new set. I got a medium in both. And I absolutely love this color. Um, this like skin tone color is so, so nice. And of course it features Ebby's no slip grip technology, which I'm telling you guys is a game changer. It is on the underwear as well as the bras and it keeps everything in place, right? The way you put it on is the way it's gonna, going to stay. Um, there's no digging in the bra straps or wires because of course there's no wires in here. There's no wedgie picking when your underwear are not staying the way that they're supposed to be, especially if you live an active lifestyle. Um, that's just uncomfortable. And so their underwear, no matter the cut, no matter the size, will stay exactly where you put it, um, which I love. So I also got their um, the thin strap bralette. This color is called raindrop and it is like the perfect, beautiful kind of like lilac gray color and it is seamless, which I absolutely love. And I think it pairs really well with a black panty. Um, these are the high waisted briefs that I was talking about. So I love wearing these with skirts. I love wearing these with anything that's really form fitting the high waisted briefs. Um, because I like having that extra coverage as well as that kind of comfortable smoothing factor. So the, I think that this color goes really good with black. So, um, that is my most recent order from Ebby. My entire bra and underwear collection has been revamped by them because once you wear them, they are so comfortable. I've been asked recently and I wanted to say it here in this video. Are they supportive? Yes, they are supportive. I am not someone who wears underwire. There's a lot of um, things you can read about why that's not really good for you. Um, but I still want support. I've had four kids, nursed four babies, um, and and I want to feel, you know, where everything is supposed to be. So the bralettes are very supportive. So you are not compromising um, like comfort for support. Ebby gets it right, which is why they are my number one favorite seamless panty and bra um, brand out there. So I will have a link down below if you guys want to check out Ebby. 
Also, keep in mind that you can use my code Grace and Grit to save 15% site wide on regular priced items so you can get some really good deals. Check out all of their really beautiful spring colors and um, you know, try it out for yourself. You guys will see. I really, really love them. I think, like I said, like 99% of my bra and underwear drawer is from Evie now, which I'm super thankful for. So that is my first favorite for like the clothing type items. The next thing that I have to show you guys is this super cute sweater that I got off of Amazon. It is a taupe kind of like brownish color. It does have a bell sleeve, a slight bell sleeve. But what I really love about this is that it has these strings that you can cinch it up like that and wear a white tank top underneath it, or you can pull it down and have it full coverage. It's super lightweight and just like a perfect spring um, sweater. I think this would be so cute with denim cut off shorts. I also think it could look really pretty with like some linen type pants. Um, I have both and I plan to wear both with this sweater. And it is super soft, super comfy, and I did get a medium. I would say it runs a little large, so if you are in between sizes, size down. Of course, I wanted it to fit slightly oversized, but a large would have been absolutely gigantic on me. So I do think a medium, and I really, really love it, and this is like something that I have a lot of different options to wear. Um, another clothing item that I plucked straight out of my closet is this crocheted... Um, top from Pink Lily. How cute is this? If you guys didn't know, the um, style of <laughs> crocheted items is very popular right now. And I do think that some of them are cute, but I also want to look age appropriate, not like I'm trying to look like my teenage daughter. So when I saw this on Pink Lily, I thought it was absolutely adorable. Obviously, it is; it has holes in it, so I'll be wearing another you know, tank top underneath it. But the colors and the long sleeve fit, um, super cute with shorts. I have a girls trip coming up real soon here, and I'm definitely bringing this. Um, very cute to wear with uh, flare jeans if you have ventured out into that trend that we all never thought would come back, but here it is. I think it pairs really cute with that, um, and I did get this from Pink Lily, so I'll try to link it for you guys, but I absolutely love that. Uh, the next clothing item that I have to share with you guys is actually not a clothing item at all. It is a beach bag in this beautiful Kelly green color. This is from Target. It is the brand Shade and Shore. It is normally $10. However, I got mine on sale for eight. Now, I do have a beach bag that I keep basically packed for the pool for kids, for my kids. Believe it or not, teenager mom over here and I still pack the pool bag and we go to the pool so often in the summer that we just keep it packed goggles um, towels sunscreen everything just stays in there but the bag is huge so we're getting ready to go to Hawaii and I knew I wanted a beach bag because I don't want to get like my travel backpack sandy um, so I saw this and I thought it was perfect because look at how small you can fold it down like it can become very very tiny for space saving in a suitcase so if you're going to the beach this summer and you need a beach bag that is super tiny and is not gonna cost a fortune. $10 regular price, got it on sale for eight. It's big, it holds a lot, it's really good size. It has outer pockets, so I think it was super awesome. Obviously haven't used it yet, but I'm very excited to use it. Now the last item I have to share with you guys is new to me, and this is for those moments where you do not want to wear a bra at all. Now a lot of you guys, um, are probably thinking I could never do that and I understand but there are some of us that can wear you know a backless top or a dress that's cut out or even you want just a little bit additional coverage in your swimsuit or your sports bra um, where you wouldn't wear two bras and obviously you're not gonna wear a bra under your swimsuit so I heard about this company called cakes and it is uh, basically, it's the, these, uh, they have some super fancy like technology name, but these basically you place over and they suction to your skin so they don't slip off. 
and I've seen I'm gonna share the girl that I follow that shared about these um her Instagram but I saw her wearing these obviously in clothing and they like it looks great and it gives that layer of protection so in your swimsuit in um, tight fitting like body site body suit type tops if you just want an added coverage but you don't obviously ever plan on wearing two bras these are a great option I did test them out and I can report that they do stay on your skin so I have a few dresses that I want to wear in Hawaii where the back is open like at the top and um, so I was kind of like struggling with what to wear and I've seen like other ones on Amazon and they have like sketchy reviews but these ones it's a small business too um really good reviews and the girl that I followed that I'm going to share with you because she's been super a great find for me um she highly recommends these so I wanted to share these little uh cakes with you guys now moving into products I have a few products that I want to share I have a basket down here that I'm grabbing from um, so the first thing that I have to share with you guys is this NARS, um, highlighting stick. This is in the shade Champagne. Now, this is what it looks like. I told you guys I'm converting all of my makeup over to, um, cream-based products. So when I ran out of highlighter, which I was using a liquid highlighter before, I wanted a cream one. And I spent some time with Jake looking for them. And like, I don't know if you guys can see it on my hand, but see that iridescent glow right there. Um, so this stick, this, it was a little expensive. It's definitely not like a budgety, um, but look at that beautiful iridescent, like just natural looking glow. I love this thing so much. And you just put it where the sun would hit you and blend it and it is so, so pretty. So I really love this. If you need a new highlighter, I highly recommend. So the next item is something that I have been seeing all of the social media influencers talk about. I've never been sponsored by them yet. If they reached out, I would take it. Um, but it is Dime Beauty. So I wanted a new fragrance for summer and I've seen so many people rave about this fragrance, Seven Summers from Dime. So that's what it looks like. I actually ordered this from Amazon. It was available on Prime. So I don't know. I didn't use like an influencer's discount code or anything because I just wanted to try this scent out. Um, and I was able to get it on Prime. So check there. I'll link it down below. Um, you can check on there. But this smells so good. It is not strong. It is subtle and fresh and I don't know, just like the perfect summery fragrance um, that I like. I don't like floral and I just really love this. So highly recommend that. Um, and then the next product is another one that I've seen many people talk about and I finally was like, you know what, I want to try that. So this is the Elemis um, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. And this is just for removing like makeup and then you use your face wash after. So, you know, I, as I've gotten older, I've started taking better care of my skin, which I think most people do. So like scrubbing at your face isn't the best thing for it. So this cleansing balm, you take a very small amount of it. You, your makeup is on, you rub it all over your face, all over your um, makeup. And then you use a soft damp cloth to just kind of wipe it away very gently and your face will not have a speck of makeup on it left. Um, if you, and it's pro collagen, so it's like good for your skin, and then you just do your normal face wash after the fact. So I only use this at night, but I love this stuff. I am hooked. It comes in um, this box right here, which I saved to show you guys. Um, this, it says it's, uh, a super cleansing treatment balm removes makeup and daily grime. The skin feels cleansed, hydrated, and softened for a glowing complexion. And I love it. I really recommend this stuff. Um, so if you are looking for some good skincare, definitely check that out as far as the makeup removal process goes. Um, moving on to books. So I have a few things to share with you guys. 
Um, the first one is I read, I listened to it on Audible and I finished it and it is Where the Crawdads Sing. That's a book that's been out and very popular for a very long time. So I'm not at, you know, most of you have probably read it or decided you didn't want to read it. I wanted to take a break, I've shared this before, from the feeling of constantly needing to be learning new information and just get lost in a story. And um, I'm really kind of picky about what I want to listen to. I don't like tr crime type stuff and I don't like super romance heavy stuff. And so it's just kind of hard to find books that I enjoy. Um, so Where the Crawdads Sing definitely started off a little slower. And then there were some points in the book where I was like, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to continue to listen. If it continues to like go down this path, I don't want to give it away. But thankfully, it turned the corner. It was very appropriate um, for an adult woman, um, the story was at least, and a few twists and turns that I never saw coming, and a really surprising ending. So I did enjoy the book. I would recommend it if you're wanting kind of like a brain break book to listen to. I am going to watch the movie with Jake just because he loves watching movies. And now that I've read the book, I'm kind of curious to see like how they portray it. Um, so I did enjoy that book. Um, the next book that I wanted to share with you guys is really a Bible study. Now, I this is the study of Colossians from the Daily Grace Co. I got a bunch of new Bible studies from them. This one is called Rooted in Him. Um, if you guys have never done any Daily Grace Co. studies, they are beautiful and they are theologically sound, which is the most important thing. Um, I also got some really awesome Bible highlighters from them that I just think are so cute. They will not um, bleed through the pages. And I recommend these. You guys know I'm picky about my Bible studies because I don't want anything like topical. Um, I want just to study the word and learn more th uh, through, you know, through that avenue. And so those definitely are awesome and I they're beautiful too so there's like that added enjoyment is like looking at this nice beautiful color palette and just those little aesthetic touches if you appreciate that kind of thing um, the next book that I want to share with you guys is a book called grace unveiled um, it is the story of a woman who was a part of the LDS or Mormon faith for 30 years um, teaching at BYU very involved, very high level, um, her story of leaving that uh, church and why. And it is very, very, very good. I would encourage all of you to read it. Um, she also did a podcast episode with Allie B. Stuckey that you should definitely check out. That's all I'm going to say about that. It was a really, really good book. Um, now the next books that I have to share with you guys are like a little teaser at our curriculum choices for next year. So if you've been watching me for a very long time, every year I get my kids a new uh, daily gratitude journal. It's a part of our homeschool. And I always kind of struggle to find ones now that my kids are older and they don't want like the preschool looking stuff, but I hit the jackpot here. So I will link these down below for you guys. This one is called the prayer journal for girls. I got two of these for my girls, obviously. And I'll show this more in depth. Um, as we um, as I share my curriculum choices but it's very simple um, but just appropriate for them and they just do this every day as a part of our school day and then obviously my boys aren't gonna want something floral so I found this one called I am grateful for men and the back is it shows you what each page looks like um, so that's kind of like what's on the inside today. I'm grateful for what day of the week it is, uh, weekly inspiration. And so pretty basic, but great for older kids who are kind of beyond the, the preschool look of gratitude journals. Now moving in to some shows, some podcasts. Um, the girl that I was talking about that I started recently following, her name is Morgan Bullard, I think, and she does size eight relatable fashion. So she's a mom of two. Um, I don't really know much more about her other than her size and her weight because she always puts her stats, um, stats, which I think is kind of funny, but 
you know, it's important if that is what your content is. And I find her to be incredibly helpful because if I see something that fits her, I know it's going to fit me the same way, pretty similarly. And I really appreciate it because I'll see other people like Jen from the sister studio, who's very popular. Um, but she's an extra small in everything. And I haven't been an extra small since the fifth grade. So it might look great on her, but that's not going to really fall that way on me. And so I am so thankful to have found someone who um who is my size and so far I think I've tried like four or five I mean she definitely has made me spend a little bit of money but they were things I was already wanting to get anyway like I needed denim shorts and she shared a pair and I were perfect which I shared in my last day in the life um but I really really enjoy her content it's strictly clothing fashion that kind of thing um, and I just appreciate it because it's like a real woman trying on clothes um, and you know there's like a lot of clothing style people for like the super small sizes and then actually there are a lot of like plus size people as well but there's not really many for like the middle middle of the road there like the medium large size 8 size 10 fashion um, so I really appreciate her. So if you want someone that is like going to make you try some new things, get you out of your style rut, she was a really good follow. Um, the next thing that I wanted to touch on is a podcast. You guys always ask me about podcasts like for my kids. So this is a podcast that my teenagers listen to. It is called Wretched Radio. It's basically an apologist of um podcast i think he does have his name is todd frill i think he does have a youtube channel as well um but if you have teens i highly recommend my daughter is a regular listener like almost every day she loves it so much and so i wanted to share that here with you guys um the next thing that i wanted to share is kind of like a movie and then a podcast to go with the movie is the movie jesus revolution um we went as a family we saw it i think it is a great movie for kids um ages 11 and up um you know if you have talked about drug use and the effects of that then i think you're okay i don't think younger kids could fully appreciate it um but the movie is the telling of the Jesus Revolution, which is what it was coined, that took place in the late 60s, early 70s in the United States um, following <clears throat> the war. And um, it is told that it is the largest evangelistic movement in history that has ever taken place in this country. Um, and so it's the story of Chuck Smith who started Calvary Chapel and another man named Lonnie Frisbee and Greg Laurie, um, how they all came together, how it all transpired. And the movie is the, it was incredible. It was the most well done Christian film I have ever seen. And it has performed incredibly well at the box office, even outperforming like Hollywood and secular movies, which is incredible. Kelsey Grammer plays the main one of the main characters and um, it's been really interesting to read um, his kind of coming to faith story through his um, involvement in this film. And I just want to encourage you guys, if you did not watch it, if you did not see it in movie theaters, like when it comes out, I don't even know if it's still playing, but when it comes out, watch it. Um, there's been a little bit of controversy surrounding it, um, which I find to be completely ridiculous and unjust um, because the, the one of the characters um, kind of ends up going in a different direction and then once he did that he is starts partaking in other things that he later on his deathbed is there's actual audio recording of him like repenting of that so people were kind of like why didn't they include that in the movie well because it wasn't a part of his life at that time so i find it to be ridiculous that we have to like trudge up everyone's past to feel like we can enjoy and appreciate the good things that they did um so i loved it now to tie that in with the podcast elisa um childers her dad is portrayed in the movie and she has an amazing podcast 
and many of you know who she is. So her dad was a part of the band that is portrayed in the movie. And so she does an interview with him to kind of like ask how did he feel about the movie since he actually lived it. So I highly encourage you guys to go check out Elisa Childers podcast, not only for that episode, but also for the podcast in general, because she's amazing. That's another one that I think is incredible. And um, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So that is a bit of what I have been loving lately. Some products, some clothing, um, some bras, some underwear, some shows, some podcasts, some books. I just wanted to pop on and kind of share like these are the things that I've been picking up and I really, really love them. I'll link to everything I can down below. Make sure you guys check out the links to Ebby. That will be down below. Don't forget to use my code Grace and Grit to save 15% site-wide on regular priced items. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again really soon. Bye friends. Every single day